Oh, wow, we are live. Um, let me especially welcome Mr. Larry Olari Waju, Mr. Akitu P. Olari Waju. You are welcome, sir. Wow, um, I think our people are trying to still come here. Some people are chatting me up that, okay, is it going to be on um, our Facebook page? Of course, it's Facebook Live. So, Mr. Akin Olari, why do we be with us there? Um, while we are waiting for them to come, uh, what I'm going to just tell people is either you are going to be joining us live or you are going to be wa watching the recording. Don't worry, everything is prepared for you. Um, Mr. Larry is going to, um, I just want us to drain him. Okay, he's an experienced man. So we are going to drain him today, ask him any question you want to ask him. And um, he has a short time with us, he has short time with us. So uh, within that short time, he's going to break things down for us. And we are going to learn a lot of ways of using digital tools to promoting our agri business a lot of us uh, uh, this is just i'm going to give us um um farm squares secrets a little of farm square secrets all right farm square actually has been growing organically farm square has been growing organically all right we can count how many times you have done um promotion okay um but then the organic way is what is going to matter in this um um because of course you understand that um, some uh farmers are running on low budgets but if you want to take your business to uh, a bigger level of course you have to run ads all right but then if you are starting out you can just start organically so there are digital tools you can use to promote your agribusiness to reach out to a lot of people i've jotted out some of these things but then of course my goodness my own is going to come after mr akin olari waju is uh he's finished with us when he has finished with us we can now uh, talk about um the little i have for us today now today is just going to be an overview we are coming back to come and do practical Okay, we are coming back to do practical, but today is just an overview of uh, the benefits you are going to enjoy when you are using most of th these uh, digital tools. I'm not going to uh, waste time by bringing up uh, Mr. Larry Waj. I'm not going to waste time because I know some people will come later and come and watch the recording. And we are going to post it on uh, Twitter, YouTube, and um, uh, LinkedIn. That person who will watch so uh it's just he has an engagement for eight so i don't want to take his time he has them um, about 40 minutes to discuss what he has for us today then we now ask questions within 10 minutes we are done okay after that we are going to have a giveaway so make sure you are following this uh, facebook page you like uh, our page because by the time you want to give the giveaway we are going one of the criteria is that you are you are going to be someone that has liked the page already or you are following us okay so um i'll be bringing mr larry niger farmer up now we are, we are not wasting time we are starting right away so mr larry over to you sir
Mr. Larry, good evening, you sir. You're welcome. I'm here. You're welcome. Good evening. Good evening, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. Good to have you. Hey, much. Same here. So just go ahead. Just go ahead. We don't want to waste your time. You know, you said you have an engagement for eight o'clock. So let's just start. People will join us along the way. Um, the, uh, this um, webinar is recorded, so we can always post it for people to watch it thereafter. Thank you very much. Um, we can begin. Yes. Hello. Thank you very much. Um, we can begin at your yeah, yeah. convenience. Yes, let's start. We are waiting for you. You are the one we are waiting for now. You can start, sir. Okay, yes. My name is Akinto Biolan Rewaju. I'm the founder of Lance Farm. Uh, on Twitter, I'm called um, Ninja Farmer. I'm an agricultural extension specialist, as well as um, social agriculture um, specialist. And what I mean by agricultural extension is um, what we do in agricultural extension is to bring innovations, opportunities, um, new ways of doing things from region of maybe research, um, location or maybe countries where um, they've been doing this stuff and be successful, we bring it down to our local farmers where they take it up and then they follow the, you know, the group at good agricultural practices. And then they can also be able to improve productivity and also um, ensure that um, they are successful. And the social agriculture is basically using um, social media platforms um, and um, um, tools to be able to grow your agribusiness. Uh, basically, um, what I specialize around social agriculture is how we can develop platform, how we can make platform tenable um, for agricultural practices, how we can make it um, more scam free and also create livelihood on plat on platforms and they're using digital tools so that's what i'm also you know um specialized in thank you yes um thank you mr larry one thing i didn't do the other time is to introduce him properly so that he can come on board uh just like he said he has of course done the <laughs> the introduction himself that um, i know you know um there's a saying that if you are loaded you'll be needed mr larry i can tell you is highly loaded is highly loaded so um mr larry uh, are you ready just i just want you to go straight just go straight into uh, what we are here for sir all right thank you very much um so this topic interests me a lot because I use digital tools a lot for my, for my agribusiness and even for my engagement. And when we say digital tools, um, we have what we call... So digital is, um, is an antonym of um, a manual or say um, something that is not tech. You know, so we say analog. So... Antonym of um, digital is analog. When we talk about analog, what we are saying in analog is that um, something that you have to do with your hand, you have to do with your sense, you have to do with um, your skills, right? And then you have to show your workings. That is what you know analog means. Uh, but when we talk about digital, what we are saying is that things that make work faster using technology, right? Using technology to be able to do work faster. So I'll give you an instance. So if you look at um, uh, your wristwatch, uh, the one that, um, you know, with the long hand and short hand, that's an analog. You know, it just, it does its own thing by, you know, um, by, by, you know, moving around the clock, doing it itself. itself. But when you look at some new watches now where you have, it shows digital, it shows the timing, you can, you know, press it, you can change it. It can do a lot of work for you. Uh, compared to the you know the round to the um, wall or the handle kind of clock, um, so <clears throat> that's the difference between analog and digital. And when we talk about tools, these are um, things that help you to do work. Um, so in agriculture, we have um, tools and implements. And when we talk about tools, we are talking about whole cutlass, um, um, ridge, and all of that. When we talk about implements, we're talking about tractors, plow, arrows, 
and the rest of that. But these tools are little, little things that help you to do work. So when we talk about digital tools, what we mean here is that we're looking at um, technology, simple technology that help us to do work. And so in agribusiness, we do a lot of work. Um, as an agribusiness player, um, you are the one trying to manage your farm labor. You are the one trying to manage your account. You're trying to manage your, you know, lead um, management or customer management. You're trying to manage your um, your feed, your input, trying to manage a whole lot of things. And so these digital tools are the ones that help us to do a whole lot of that. Now, in the first, in the 21st century agriculture, it is important that you engage these digital tools to help you to do a lot of work. Um, we have only one brain. And then we all do a lot of things. Uh, family is there, uh, business is there, relationship is there, um, personal problem is there. There are a lot of things that is there. Now, what you need to do is to engage these digital tools to help you to do a lot of things that you don't even have to bother about. And I'll start mentioning some of the digital tools that you can use that will help you, you know, in terms of um, management, in terms of... Um, um, how do I say it? Um, in terms of um, business management, it is very important that we engage these tools to be able to undo a lot of these um, a lot of this work. I don't know if you understand me. Can you hear me? Yes, we are here following you. Awesome, awesome. So now let me talk about you know digital tools. Um, number one is your social media platforms. They are digital tools. And what it does, on a normal day, um, if you open a shop, right, you know, people want to, you know, come in and ask questions about, oh, how much do you sell your, your, uh, your tone of cassava? How much do you sell your, your, your birds? How much do you sell your pig? You know, they want to come in and ask. But social media platform has become like a front desk office. Yeah, Mr. Akintubi was talking about um, our social media platforms. Yes, I think maybe it's his network, but then... Uh, can you hear me? Yes, Hello? we can hear you now. We can hear you now. All right. So our social media platforms, uh, they have become our um, front desk for businesses, for people to come and ask questions. Uh, normally, people come to your office and knock the door and you know, talk to your front desk officer. But this social media platform has become our front desk office where people can come in and ask questions. And so you see people coming to your DM to say, oh, how much do you sell your tone of cash? How much do you sell your birds and even your pitch? And so it is very important as a business, um, agribusiness player, to be intentional about how you manage your social media platforms. Some people open social media platform and just because where as a business person, I have to, you know, um, I have to have all the uh, social media platform, my art on Twitter, Instagram. But no, it is not just having it. It is being intentional about how you run it. I've been to 15 states in the last three months and I've met with hundreds of young farmers. Many of them, I would say 80% of them do not have a physical shop. What they have is an online shop. And where is the online shop? It's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And so one of the things I will tell them is you have to be intentional about what you post on your platform. Are you educating? Are you advice advertising? Are you engaging? Are you training? Or are you just you know, there for just being their sake? If you're on Twitter, you want to be talking about your produce. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm into cassava processing. I do Gary. Oh, this is why my Gary is better. Oh, I'm doing a, a good discount. I can supply you anywhere in Nigeria. You have to be intentional about how you relate with customers, right? And even on social media platform, let's say on Twitter, maybe something is trending. So maybe um, Nigeria at 60 is trending. You don't want to just jump using your own personal business account to be talking against the politics. Because you're not there for politics, you're there for business. So you don't use the uh, social media handle to be talking about politics, about relationship. But no, 
you have to be professional. And one of the ways you can also get good engagement and good customer is that those hashtag that is trending, you can also trend your pro your product your product with it. So if let's say um, agriculture is trending, you can go to that trend table and type your business, put your picture with that trend um, hashtag, so that people on that trend will be able to see your product and they'll be able to engage you. Right. So you have to be intentional about what you post. Don't just post. Even sometimes I advise business owners to be the one to handle their social media platform for a while because you know what you're looking for. If you give it to so maybe a social media um, person to handle, they might not be able to communicate rightly the way you want them to, to, to communicate. So it is important that you are intentional about what you tweet, what you post on Facebook, on Twitter, and even on Instagram. I would say, if you look at my page, if you're talking about relationship or whatever, um, I don't talk about it. I just, you know, the reason why I'm there is to provide agricultural extension service for young people. And I talk about agriculture only. There was a time I dabbled into politics and I was, I was burnt, you know, people dragged me. But I stopped because I learned that, and the error that I made, you know, it's good that we, you guys are listening to me and you don't have to make that error, you know. So you don't have to talk about, if you, you can have your own uh, personal account where you can talk about whatever you want, but your business account should remain formal and the sole intention of creating that account is what should you use it for. So that is number one. Secondly, um, I'll talk about financing. Um, there was a time where um, I, you know, engaged some farmers on Twitter and um, I want them to do some businesses for me. And I'm a very professional person. So I asked them, please send me an invoice. They were like, ah, they don't have invoice, so that they'll just send me the amount. Come on, come on, bro. How can you tell me you have a business and you don't have an invoicing system? Uh, I'm in the farm now. When I get to the to the house, I'll bring out my invoice paper and I'll write it and I'll snap it and I'll send it to you. Come on, bro. That is not invoicing. So that means that you cannot run your business on the go. No. You have to have a digital tool that help with your budgeting, with your invoice, and even for your finance. And I'll give an example, WaveApp. WaveApp is an amazing tool for invoicing, for financing. It does a lot of help for you. WaveApp and Zo Finance or Zo Account. You know, um, due to, you know, manage your business. It helps you with taxing, with um, VAT, helps you with um, invoicing, helps you with uh, even receipt. You can, you, you can be traveling on your way to maybe Lagos and somebody said, oh, send me an invoice for this person. I'm going to pick up my produce at your, at your shop. Send me an invoice. You send an invoice, they pay, you send your receipt. It is just one click. So these are the tools that you can use. Don't go and print invoice paper. No, life mm -hmm. has gone beyond that. Use Wave app or Zo, uh, Zo uh, app, these are tools that will help you to, you know, be able to, um, help, help you to be able to um, professionalize your business. Somebody is buying um, Gary from your farm, is buying um, cassava from your farm, is buying yam, is buying all of these things. You want to itemize what they buy professionally, even for, even for their own office. They can print out your invoice. It has your logo, has your address, has your account number, it's, you just have to put your basic information of this is what you buy. The Zoe app or the Wave app does all of that for you. And they are cheap. Some of them are even free. You know? So you don't have to pay a dime for it. I've been using Wave app for the past eight years. I mean, now I'm, I moved to Zoe. I've been using Zoe for like three years. They are amazing tools. You don't pay a dime for it. And it is straightforward. So that is for your financing. So let's talk about... Um, uh, let's talk about... Um, WhatsApp. You know, people use WhatsApp because WhatsApp is just their messaging. No. If you look at WhatsApp business, if you're a business person, download WhatsApp business. Don't use your personal account. You can use WhatsApp business on your phone and even your personal WhatsApp. But please use WhatsApp business. The reason is because it has features where you can use to display your produce. So if I go to Farm Square WhatsApp business now, I can see the catalog of their business. You show me, okay, they're into input supply, they're input into, they're into extension, they're into sales and marketing. I can see a lot of things, even before they respond to me. And even the WhatsApp business has like um, a welcome message, 
um, automatic, too many filters that you can use that you don't have to, you know, type all the time. So it is important that you use water business. Uh, it really, really helps you. I'll talk about um, Google Ads. Google Ads is an amazing feature. So um, sometimes, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. All right, awesome. So Google Ads. I'm, um, I'm, I'm seriously. I met a. I met a young lady. She's into snail. Um, in Lagos, in Okorodu, her farm is huge. She has um over a hundred thousand people in our what Facebook group, um that does snail. Now the question is, I asked her, how do you sell? She said sometimes when she send out an ad, she will post it because when she send it ad out for like um, two days, she would have received all the um, requests. I mean, all the order for the week. So after two days, she will post so that she can be able to attend for those requests or the orders. And the message is done. So every week she does the you know ad. And it's just Facebook. Some, they do Instagram ad. Some do promotion on Twitter. But the thing there is, ad is a way, you know, because, you know, you're starting out, you don't have too much people to, you know, follow you. You don't have a lot of people to, you know, listen to you. Um, you can be talking, you can be alone in a very big space. And nobody's seeing you. But those little, little ads, they do a lot for you. It might be, ah, it's not expensive. Some are as low as maybe 5,000, 4,000, 3,000 naira. I know I hear that you can actually pay for Facebook ad with your Nigerian card and something like that. So you can, all those ads, imagine you have to go and be talking to people, you know, everywhere, knock their door, go to their office. With this fuel um, palaver, you cannot afford to be wasting money. So you have to be very strategic about how you run your business. So these ads will take you to places where your leg has not even been to. I'll give another example of a snail farmer in um, Ojo in Lagos. And this guy has like over 90,000 people in, in, in his WhatsApp group, in his um, Facebook group. And he said, he doesn't even sell me and snail to Nigerian people. He sells snail to people in Europe. They order and he export it. How does he do it? Only Facebook ad. Now, what this Facebook ad does is you can select the region where you want people to be seeing that ad. You can tell people to be seeing this ad in Europe or in America or in West Africa or in South Africa. And these people see it, they start messaging you, they start sending uh, messages to you, and then you can be able to, you know, deal with them, do business with them. So imagine that you have to do these things manually or even via analog. How many people do you want to reach? Do you even know them? But this ad will help you to be able to reach a whole lot of them. So these are the tools that you can use to be able to push... Um, information now let's talk about how to manage um customers so let's say you've been trying to talk to a customer around how to um maybe you're trying to do business with them but they are still not you know um um coming to do business with you um say maybe they tell you okay uh, we're not ready this time around uh, check back to um maybe in three months time you have a whole lot of things to do in your head you cannot remember when it is three months time. You need a digital tool. And that's why we have something like Upspot. Upspot is a perfect client management tool. It is free. It is free. And they will do a lot of trainings online that you can just join and understand how to manage. That Upspot is perfect. I've been using Upspot since 2015 and it's perfect. You put in, it can remind you, it sends you automatic email. It can remind you uh, when you're, so you can go there, um, add a customer, put the put things about the customer that uh, maybe you guys discuss. You know, set a reminder. It send automatic email to your reminder to your email to remind you about. Okay, today you said you want to call this man, and then uh, you can move the person from okay from lead to um, paid customer to whatever, whatever. And so even at a time, you can look the analytics and it shows you how long it takes you to convert a customer to a paid customer, it leads to a customer. So these, these are digital tools that helps you to do a lot of things. You can, on your on the go, you can be in, in any part of the world and you can assess your customer. So let's say you started as one-man business 
and you grow to become two, uh, you have maybe two staff, and you want them to be calling your customer, you want them to be sending them email. You don't want to give them a, a notebook and say, these are the customer. No, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is that I will give you my HubSpot login account, and then you can look at these people and then send them email. Just download their emails and send them an email or send them an SMS. These are the ways you can you know, manage your business and you don't have to stress yourself because you are a 21st century business owner. Um, let me talk about websites. Um, my nigerfarmer.com.ng website, I built it myself because I use WordPress. I only paid for the um, for the um, .com.ng, the host. But I did the design myself using um, WordPress. I didn't pay a dime for it. I created a login so I can what back end put in information and rest of that. So these are things that you can see. You don't have to be a tech uh, a tech bro or a tech sis to be able to do all of, the, all of these things. If you can handle a smartphone, you'll be able to handle a lot of them. Mailchimp, you have a whole lot of uh, maybe uh, emails of customers or businesses that you want to start doing business with. Use Mailchimp, put your logo, put your whatever, send them um, mail uh, email. It is free. You don't pay for any of that. So those are cheap things that you want to like um, start using. Okay, now let's talk about grammar. Sometimes maybe at the, uh, because we are rushing to put out information, we might do mistake when it comes to our grammar. Download Grammarly to your phone or to your system. As you're typing, it tells you you are making an error. It can even correct a sentence for you. And you're able to, to communicate in the right English the right frame of mind, the right so that people will not miss miss um so they won't miscommunicate, they will not miss out a lot of information. And so these are the tools that when you have them, it helps it makes life easy for you, right? It makes work easy for you. It um it, it gives you opportunity to undo your business and still be able to do more. Imagine if you have to call or um send email to 200 of your customers. How do you want to do all of that? It's too stressful. Use MailChimp. Just, um, you know, put it, um, um, structure it, and time it. Automatically, it sends itself. You know, you don't have to tear receipt or tear invoice or paper or whatever. You do it online. You don't have to start thinking about how you want to um, package your English. Grammarly will help you structure it. You don't want to think about how do I get more customers. Google Ads, Facebook Ads will do all of that for you. You know, how do I get more customers? Then go to um, Trendtable. Put the hashtag, put your business, and send it. People will see you. So you have to do all of these things. And why it is important for these digital tools? I'll say number one, for good customer experience. When your customer, when you talk to somebody and say, okay, you want to buy stuff, okay, how much is it? 40000 okay, send me an invoice. Within two minutes, you went to your um, Wave app, you put in the information, you send it to via me, they get it via me, like, ah, this is good stuff. You know, they pay. Within one click, you send them an, a receipt. The customer experience is perfect. It's not like you're not, you know, say, hey, I, when I get home, I will do that. You get, went home, you tear receipt, you snap it and you send it as an email, as an email attachment. It doesn't make you professional. Because the thing there is, the thing there is as you're starting your business, you're not doing it because you want your business to be uh, maybe six months, um, three months. No, you want to build a business that is everlasting, that takes years. And so you need to start showing that you're professional. Imagine if you send an invoice via Weaver or Zo um um Zo account or Zo business to a business a company that wants to engage you for maybe to buy maybe fifty bags of uh, of rice, and you send them uh, it looks professional. They be like, oh, this guy, this person is very professional. How can we now do more? Do you understand? And so the user experience is very important when you are doing business. You want people to experience a different level of um of of um engagement with you maybe they may engage with somebody that is sending a uh, receipt or sending picture as receipt but you send as a pdf um via zo uh, zo business or zo account or wave app it, it's they feel good there's this this feel good moment of oh this person is very professional right or when people go to um facebook or go to google and they see your business there we're like okay because they give a level of this person is, you know, it's a good business. I want to do business with them. So you have to package yourself. Second one is, it allows you to do more. Digital tools allows you to do a whole lot of things without stressing yourself. 
um, instead of talking, 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 you do art. Instead of tearing receipts and writing paper and whatever, you do um, um, you do uh, uh, wave up. Instead of you know paying somebody to do website for you and then person taking a lot of time and effort, within one day you a few hours you are done with your website. Um, you're looking at okay, how can I manage my people? And then um, uh, I have uh, all my customers' information in my in my diary or in my higher education, and then it's stressful. No, you have it on um, upspot, easier to handle, right? At the click of um, of a button, you already do whatever you need to do. It makes allows you to do more, right? Um, also gives you makes it profitable, right? For invoice for this, you don't have to print anything. That saves you a cost. For paying for website, you don't have to pay anybody. You can do it yourself. For transporting to offices, to businesses, to talk to people, you can just pay a little money on um, on Facebook or, or, or Instagram. And you reach a whole lot of people. So it saves you a whole lot of cost, a whole lot of money. It saves you a whole lot of time. And then you have more income. You have more income, you are saving a lot of money, and you are even have more income. And the last one is, it also helps you to have data insights. You know, um, Google Ads will give you data insight about how many people are seeing your your um, your to your ad, how many people are interacting with it. Um, the Wave app will tell you about the number of sales you've made for this month, how much you've generated in this month, how much people are owing you. It gives all those insights. All the things that you already have to crack in your head, crack your brain, remember, and all of those things. These things they do them for you, and it makes life very easy for you. And so it is important as a 21st century agribusiness person that you need digital tools to help you to be able to scale, improve user experience, improve income, and also make life easier for you. Thank you. Wow, <clears throat> that's a lot, that's a lot. <laughs> I was just jotting, I was jotting, I was writing. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Larry. Thank you so much, Niger Farmer, for this. Uh, exposing exposing us to uh, I was like wow so these things are available like this and farmers are missing out look at what you have mentioned things that will manage our finances manage our um our spread spreading out to a lot of people you mentioned do you mentioned wave up you mentioned digital marketing you mentioned email marketing you mentioned proofreading you mentioned grammarly you mentioned Facebook ad Google, ad, Google my business I know these are ways by which farmer can at least maximize profits. It's ma it, it makes um, our work easier. We can work on the go. We can we can decide to do things at ease without stress. You don't have to. You have to be professional. Uh, Mr. Lani was talking about professionalism. You have to be professional about your business. You have to use um, WhatsApp business. You have to use Instagram. You have to use all these social platforms to your advantage. And I can tell you, this is the secret of Farm Square. I can tell you because we we are using a lot of these things. A lot of people are knowing us. You know, and from there you see people, customers coming to you. And I I, I wonder when people say I, I have to use this particular produce, I cannot sell it. Um, I have this um uh, input, I cannot sell it. I need this, I need that. Who like where are the customers? Your customers are online. You have these tools, he has mentioned it. We have sent it to the comment section here. You can look through. Thank you, Mr. Confidence, for. Uh, itemizing them one by one so people can look at it and say, okay, which one will I? You know, these things, they are much, okay? We cannot mention everything here. But then you can look at it one by one and begin to explore it, begin to tick it and say, which one will I know this week? Which one will I know next week? How will I um, package myself and become a professional in what I'm doing, you talk about websites. Um, as a businessman, if you want to go far, you need a website. Okay, there are some skills you need as a farmer that want to use digital tools. You need to have a, a design skill. Okay, you don't need to have it professionally. Okay, just using Canva, you can just place one or two things together, you know, and Instead of paying designers 10,000, 20,000, 5,000, as the case may be, you can just put this thing together and you are done. You can use element, Elementor or a website builder to build your websites and you are done. Okay, these are things that will reduce costs. 
okay but push you out the more and from there you can begin to see profits from your business okay we understand that okay, some farmers don't have um access to um let's say an android phone that will enable them to know all these things but the world is moving um and we have to move with it very very important there are trainings here and there this kind of time of training is a training to just expose you to know okay these are the things we are supposed to do and from there people can move fast in this sector you know this sector is a sector that is sensitive and people lack because they are insensitive to what we are discussing here okay thank you so much mr larry i really really appreciate you i don't know if um I'm trying to check the comment section if there's there are questions there, and then um, uh, I see that people are following. They understand what you are what he has mentioned, and so there's no question that they are asking. So, but then me, I have a question for Mr. Larry, and my question is, um, how, how were you? Because I know your Twitter page grew at the point it was just growing, growing, growing. How were you able to do that? How were you able to do that? I, I know you mentioned some. I know you mentioned some. You should use a hashtag. You should use uh, maybe tag people. You should post content that makes sense, you know. But how were you able to grow your Twitter followers that much, you know? I, I know there are some content you are posting that makes sense. People want to see those contents. You know, just briefly, somebody just sent a message, but just briefly tell us how were you able to grow that your Twitter follower to that level, sir? Thank you very much. Um, you know, the, the reason why I started that page, that was 2020. Um, it was zero. Yes, hmm. it was zero. I started because... I had, issue, I had an issue in my farm and I was looking at, I was finding, I was looking for people that are also in that situation, how we can, you know, solve problems ourselves together. You know, have you experienced this? What did you do? You know, I was looking for people like that. I couldn't get any online. I mean, I don't use Facebook. I don't use, I don't understand Instagram, but I, I love Twitter. So I'm like, ah, I'm a lecturer of agriculture. Um, I'm a um, private extension specialist. I... I'm also a social agricultural specialist. There are a lot of people like my type that are also looking for information, but I've not gotten it. How about, you know, having an account where we talk about agriculture, people can ask questions, I can create market linkage, help people with livelihood, help people answer questions. Even if I don't have the answer, I can retweet and people following me can also come to that aid and answer questions. Because the thing about agriculture is you cannot know everything. Things are changing every day. And as much as I have a lot of information to share, I also depend on a lot of people to talk about things. If I don't have answer to a question, I retweet it and I say, people, please, what, what can we do? What should we do? And you see a lot of people coming, you know, saying, oh, this is what I've done. This is how I do what I do. You know, a lot of people coming to, to help out. And so, uh, and what I do on that page is to just talk about agriculture, talk about extension services, talk about how we can help farmers. Information that I know, I push it out. You know, things that I know that it will help people a lot, I push it out. And then one of the things I do is to have a dedicated hashtag. And I call it Niger Pharma Tips. And these are the things that, so, um, and it's how to cure a lot of health issues using, you know, basic agricultural principles. Uh, you are not, you have insomnia, you don't sleep very well, cut banana into pieces, boil it, um, sieve out the water, put in a water bottle, cool it, Drink it before you, you know, before you go to bed, and then you have a very sound sleep. These are things you don't have to take any medication. These are things that you learn. And I went for the course. I also have people that I consult that are, you know, older people um, that understand these things that give me insight about all of those things. Oh, you want to be stronger in bed. You want to be, you know, be able to do Madame very well. You know, snack on sesame seed. It will really help you a lot. So those are the things that. You know, um, people do not have an idea of. They go to go and buy drugs, um, take all these and bitters that we you know so that they can be able to be okay, you know, as a man. Uh, but it has its own detriment. But let me see it beyond helping you as a man. It is proteinous. It is. Um, it tells you with um, your system, internal system. It has vitamins and all of that. So you are just helping your total body system. You know. So that is one. Secondly, is that. I don't dabble into anything, only agriculture. 
uh mm. somebody talking about sex talking about um bb niger talking about uh ob talking about you know, i don't double into it my focus is to help farmers and the thing is i don't do it for money i just do it you know it does say there's a higher calling everybody you want to help people you want to let people come and say thank you you have helped my business you have given me a source of happiness you have helped me to create livelihood I've been able to feed my family because of your tweets. I've been able to survive in my business. So these are higher corners that we all want to be associated with. And so I don't do it for money. I don't do it for anything. I just want to help people, you know, be able to survive and succeed. So, um, you know, somebody said something. That was um, 2021. He said, Larry, you are doing this. You don't pay. You don't do anything. But just be, uh, just be aware that there is a reward for everything that you do. There will be a time where people will be you know, calling your name, doing all of these things. You have a lot of followers. Don't relent. People are seeing, even the universe is seeing it. So and I don't relent. And all of a sudden, I tweet and boom, um, within three weeks, I have like 20,000 followers, you know, uh, because people are seeing the value. And, you know, a lot of people are looking for information. Many of our young guys do not have a source of livelihood. So they are looking for where they can get information to be able to, you know, engage or explore. And agriculture is like very natural to us. So everybody is looking at what can I do in my house? What can I do in my backyard? And a lot of agricultural agriculture, you can do it without even going to a farm. You know, you can be like a lady in that I met in Jaws, broccoli. She will buy broccoli from the from the farmers, go and dry it, grind it into powder, and sell it on social media where you can use it to make semo. Uh, you can turn broccoli uh, into semo, and you can eat it with soup. You know, that person is not waiting for anybody. That's a, that's a value chain that people are exploring. And so how can we now tell people that you can you can do this, you can do that, you can, you know, make money via this agriculture if nobody's talking about it. So that's the reason why I talk about it every day. It takes a lot of my time because I do a lot of work. You know, I have like two, three companies that I manage, that I do a lot of things. But I still want to communicate, still want to provide value to a lot of young people that do not have access to this thank you wow that was powerful <laughs> i'm learning so so much so so much mr can ben is asking that um his own question is that agriculture is meant to be a job creating sector why would a farmer do all or some of these when there are professionals that are good at doing them okay so mr larry this question is directed to you why will a farmer go into this when there are professionals that are good at some of these things that you have mentioned why would a farmer want to like to do it his or herself when there are people that he can hire to do it so the thing there is most times we forget that agriculture is a business right mm. it is not passion uh, i'm doing that good because i'm passionate about agriculture you will suffer you will mm. go hungry <laughs> agriculture is a business and so if anybody is doing agriculture you have to do agriculture you're not a farmer you're a businessman so leave farmer out of it you are not a farmer you are a business farm uh, is a businessman and it is not everybody that is a farmer that is eating in agriculture i, I am not a farmer do i have a farm i'm partly a farmer but i'm an extension specialist and i'm eating from it you have processors you have uh, marketers you have a um, logistic person you have the farmer itself you have input supplier agriculture is wide and so if you are doing anything you have to do it as a businessman and as a businessman number one thing for business is to reduce cost mm -hmm. and one of the ways you are reduce cost is to be able to know all of these things. If you are giving all of this thing out to somebody to do it for you, do you know how much that will cost you? How do you want to break even? How do you want to be profitable? Now, as a businessman, if you know how to do WordPress, if you know how to do Google Ad, if you know how to use Google and Zoom, if you know how to use um, Upspot, nobody can tell you and tell you, nobody can come and come and charge you for irrelevant. You can do it yourself. It saves you a lot of money. It gives you, uh, you know, a lot about things. You can manage a lot of things. Do you understand? You can manage a lot of things. You can be able to, 
um, save a lot of costs, be more profitable. And the thing that is, as you're growing, you know where you need to grow. Okay, I've been doing a lot of business with companies and they're paying me in millions. So I think now I need an accountant to manage this fund. So you know, it's not just, it's not just um, employing for employing sake. No, you need to be strategic. If you know that, okay, you're having thousands of customers, you need somebody to manage them. Okay, now I need an assistant that can manage my customers. But I can still manage the money because the money is not like scattered. They pay me every end of the month. So I would dedicate a day in the month to work on the accounting part. That is how a businessman thinks. You can give it out to somebody to manage, no problem. But at a point in time, you also as a businessman be able to do these things because somebody can live in and say, I'm not managing your Twitter, uh, your social media handles again. And you don't have anybody to take care of that. And you, need a, you have a need for it. How do you want to manage it yourself? So as a businessman, you need to be jack of all trades so that when you expand, you can be able to understand the specific, the rudiment of all of this aspect of agriculture. So yes, you can give it out, but think about it again as a businessman. Wow. Um, that was a wonderful response. Uh, as uh, Mr. Larry was talking, I was just um, remembering how Farm Square started. You get um, no money, you know, we started practically organically nothing we, no, no we did not know anybody there was no money to to hire people there was no money to do ads there was no nothing the money we had was the one we used in creating the website about 350,000 right there it gets um just that so there was no nothing left to say oh we want to hire professionals to come and hand do graphics, hand do uh, our social media platform, hand do a lot of things. There was no money to do that. So we just took up that um, responsibility on ourselves. We started learning all these skills. Okay, we started knowing all these skills and we started doing these things ourselves. All the Facebook followers, likes, Twitter followers, mm -hmm. and all the LinkedIn followers, everything we gathered, we did it organically. And I can tell you, we have over 30,000 farmers that we, we transact with just organically, okay? It has reduced the cost and we have maximized our profits, okay? So, and that at, at the beginning, at the beginning, please understand this, how it works. At the beginning, it's good because you are the one that owns the business, you can convey it the way you want it to be conveyed, okay? If you hire somebody at the beginning, they may, they may not be able to, um, if they have not spent time with you or grow over time with you, they might not be able to convey it the way you want to convey it, one. Then, do you even have the money to hire them at that point? You don't have. So you have to learn all these skills, learn how to do graphic designs, learn how to do... Um, um, write content. There are AIs that can help you to achieve that. We have chat GPT, we have BAD, all these things. They can help to write email, write content. Okay, I'm already um, uh, going into my part, but let me just pause here. I'm just trying to buttress what Mr. Larry has said. So I want us to appreciate uh, Mr. Larry for this awesome section. I was just jotting, writing. I was like, I have to drain this man. Everything he says, I have to write it down because these are things that are very, 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 very interesting that you have to know. He has an engagement for eight o'clock. So uh, I would like us to release him so that he can go and prepare for that one. Mr. Larry, thank you so, so, so much. If you have not followed Mr. Larry on Twitter, please go and do. Uh, the handle is Nige. Ja farmer, just search for Ninja farmer. You will see, you see a lot of uh, comments there. Just follow him. Very, you will be seeing content, content that he has been posting over the years, and they are very, very useful. There was one particular one he shared, and uh, let me not go into that. Let me leave that. <laughs> Since uh, he said we should be professional, so I want to be professional. So let's leave that for now. And um, um, Mr. Larry, thank you so much. You can go. Or you can still stay with us. You Anyone you want, you want. We'll contact Thank you later. You for having we'll discuss me. Later. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Bye.
All right, all right. Thank you so much. So now um let me just talk about some things that helped Farm Square. I've been seeing some, okay, but I'll just go deeper into um some of the things that has helped Farm Square so far, okay. And um a lot of people come to our office and when they come and they were like really you guys are doing so well you guys are um the professionalism that you are uh, pushing out online is so top notch uh, sometimes some people say ah most of our product they used to think is for um high class people okay but i tell them no it's for everybody we service all farmers we sell farm input to everyone in Nigeria. We deliver every, everywhere in Nigeria to all locations outside Nigeria too, we deliver. So if you need your farm input, go to Farm Square, contact us, call us, WhatsApp us. We are always ready to deliver to you. Okay, so what has helped us so far is what Mr. Larry just talked about. Okay, now we did lead generation. That was it. It's called a sales funnel. You know, you can summarize to be that it's a sale funnel. And uh, just like a funnel, okay, just the way funnel look like, it has a wide uh, beginning and a narrow end, okay? So at the beginning, you will spread your wings, okay? You have your social media as a platform working very well, okay? You generate free traffic from Facebook, from um, um, WhatsApp, uh, your WhatsApp status, from your IG, Instagram post, from your TikTok, from your LinkedIn, from your Twitter, you generate a lot of traffic, okay? When you generate them, you can even generate from uh, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Google My Business, Instagram Ads. By the time you generate them, they'll be much okay so from there you now narrow it down those who now show interest you now begin to send specific you can bring them into your mail okay give them value give them value bring them to your mail then begin to send messages values to them from there they begin to trust you one thing with um, um when you want to do dig digital tool is to do no like and trust klt KLT, know, like, and trust. First, people will have to know you. People will know you. By the time they begin to know you, they will begin to like you. By the time they begin to like you, now they can now trust you to now begin to transact with you. But now, how do you do that? You have to show up, showing up every day. Okay? It's just like you have a shop and you are not going to the shop. Okay? Just know that you have missed customers for that day. So those are what social uh, platforms do for you. Go there every day. Just post anything, okay? Post uh, not just anything, please, <laughs> please, not just anything. Pro post something that is um, that is one that sh that that make people to be informed, okay, about the industry that you are. All right. There's a formula I use when I post to our social platform. I use um, um, 33, I use three and two ratio. Oh, most times I use four and one. Four, that I'll post anything that has to do with the industry. I'll post um, things that have to benefit people in that area of the things I'm posting. Then one, okay, four ratio one. One is just to post about um, something that has to do with selling. Okay, people don't want to hear about um, come and buy, come and buy. No, people don't like you posting buy, 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 buy. Uh, you are selling, you are selling this, come and buy. People don't really like that. Okay, people just want to come and get uh, benefit from your, your page. Okay, what is the information about? Okay, people want to buy, for instance, I want to buy irrigation kits. I want to buy... Uh, sprinkler, I want to buy uh, leaf lattos, I want to buy anything that has to do with irrigation. Okay, can you give me what what are the things I need for one acre? What are the things I need for one hectare? What are the things for I need for one uh, plot? Okay, how much will I spend if I want to go into irrigation farming or drip irrigation? 
Okay, these are information that people want to know. Oh, you want to talk about pepper, maybe a banana pepper, maybe all this pepper, maybe cobra, F1 uh, tomato, all this. You want to have information. So you share all those information to people. People will begin to like your content. You begin to like you from there. They will trust you enough to be able to buy from you. Not all the time you say, ah, come and buy, come and buy, come and buy. People don't like to hear that. Okay. And that is what I want to talk. I don't want to stick time because a lot of people have chatted me that ah um, um 7 p.m uh, people will be tired they want to rest i think yeah we are not spending too much within one hour we are done okay we don't intend to keep people waiting all right so and that is it so this is what i'm going to do we are going to do giveaway of course that's our regular way of um, appreciating people that um attend our meeting if you have liked and followed our facebook page okay just from the comment section type your phone number okay just just send your phone number at least we will credit credit you some things okay and then um, if you see you can dm dm us with your account number okay let's just uh, share some things to you tonight for attending and that will encourage you at least you can use that to uh, try to do some uh, graphics for your business or uh, it's just to uh, encourage you for what you have been doing in this space this this agricultural space really need us okay we, uh, we are the people that are providing food on people's table so we need to do it so much that it is well done and we can say yes this is our sector and we are contributing our quota to the development and sustainability of the sector is there any question before we go today do we have any question before we go today but don't forget just like follow our facebook page then after that you can drop in, the, in this comment section just drop your number or you dm us and send your account number either of the two no problem we are good to go if they i don't i'm not sure there's there are questions anymore i don't i'm not sure there are questions anymore so thank you everyone thank you for coming i believe you have um um this is the part one though this is the part one we are coming back where we will now be we will have practical section okay how do you use um whatsapp business how do you use google my business how do you use email to send uh, how do you use um wave app how do you use zoho how do you use um grammarly how do all these are their practical section but then we are just um what is the second speaker i don't get that so uh, mr cam ben is saying what is the second speaker uh, my name is Ayodele Timidokpe. I'm a co-founder of Farm Square. I'm the branding and marketing officer too at Farm Square. Okay, that is my name. If that is what you are asking, Ayodele Timidokpe Uluwashion is my name. I'm a co-founder of Farm Square and I'm the branding and marketing officer of Farm Square. So thank you, Mr. Campbell. Thank you so much. Mr. Aleluya Omishiri, you are welcome. Thank you um thank you everyone that has attended today's um webinar uh, have a lovely night have a lovely night have a lovely night Yeah, thank you, Mr. Kamben.